Hi y'all, it is by Devin and today I am doing some layered stamping. So I started by using Maze from Femme Dips to get a one color mani and I'm going to do my stamping on top. So I pulled this clear jelly stamper. It is clear jelly stamper 43 back to school scholastic and Devin 10 will help you save a little bit at clear jelly stamper. They are all layered plates. At least I'm pretty sure all of their plates are, are layered plates. Um, and if you've seen some of the other videos I've been uploading, I've recently kind of felt more confident with layered stamping. And this is one of the first ones that I used from my clear jelly stamper first order. And as you can see right then, it cleaned super easy. The stamping was so easy. Um, I think I only had to like redo one or two stamps and really that was user error. It was not because the stamp, the stamp plate is difficult at all. So I am using this scholastic, um, back to school plate to make a set of nails to celebrate my middle kiddo graduating from pre-K. It's super exciting. Um, we absolutely love his school. So a little sad that he'll be moving on to kindergarten. He'll be joining his older sibling at um, our local neighborhood school. So we're excited about his new adventures, but also a little sad to be leaving all of our friends and our teachers that are over there. And so I just really wanted to commemorate, you know, not only him graduating from preschool, which, you know, I'm not, he learned how to do Play-Doh. He's learned his letters. Uh, but also just, you know, kind of an end of us being at that school with him. We didn't really get a preschool graduation with my oldest because it was COVID. So he went uh, one day and then we never went back with him. He moved on to virtual kindergarten in that next fall and then um, went to in-person first grade and has been at the same school. He's now in second grade. So, um but back to this plate, it is really a fun one. It has all of these different school designs. And then at the bottom, which I, it's a little cut off in this video, but it has a few sayings. And then it even had the words class of, and then all the numbers zero through nine. So you could write out the different classes. So I did um, my middle kids graduation year from high school rather than doing 2023. So I think I counted it right. I actually originally put 34, but then I recounted and it's actually 35. So I did go in with an acetone pen and cleaned up the little four and then re-stamped a five next to it before I did my matte top coat. So you're gonna see here, I used the layer stamping to do this cute little globe. For me, I found it was easiest to line up the bottom and then to kind of like stamp up or away from myself if that makes sense and then I also found because I had this yellow isn't dark but it is pretty bold so I needed to if I wanted to use some of these lighter colors so that they'd show up enough and not be kind of washed out I did use a white base so I stamped that backpack with white first and then did the green over it and then went in with the other parts. And I could have stamped white under these other little details as well, but I really just thought as long as the main part of the backpack really showed up, that that would be enough that people would be able to understand what it was. Oh, I really liked this backpack. My kiddo has a green backpack. So when he saw it, he was like, ah, oh, it's my backpack, you know. I mostly do nails for myself, but when my kids get enjoyment out of it, I love that too. So I did um, mess up with this purple for the book, so I'm going to clean off my plate and then try again with the purple. Oh, and that one was much better. So I'm going to put the books down here and then go in with that black outline. I really like that, and I'm sure they did it intentionally. Um, the way that the layers are set up on this, they move to the right for most of them. So as you're stamping, if you kind of keep that in mind, you can scrape so that you don't have to clean between each of the layers because you won't have scraped your excess ink into the next design. 
If you're left-handed, it might be helpful to actually turn the plate upside down so that the um, direction fits probably better with if you're doing a left hand. I am right-handed, so I can't say that with any, um, I haven't stamped left-handed, but I'm just thinking about the way that I do it. If I was left-handed, I would want it to be upside down so that I could keep scraping without scraping that excess into the, the next part of that particular stamp. So then I did this little paint one and it has all of the dots, but unless you did each dot individually stamped, which seemed like it would take a really long time, they would either all be the same color or you would take a lot of time. So I decided to just reverse stamp the little black outline because there's a hole for each of the colors. So see here, I just used my daughter tool and did one little dot of each of the colors. I did, you know, the Roy G. Biv order and that worked out really easily for me. It went quickly enough that I did not have to worry about putting a sticky base coat on it's going to um, stick straight to the old stamp. I was a little worried as I was doing it. I was like, oh no, is it going to stick? Am I going to have to try to get sticky base coat without getting smudges on the design that's already there? But I lucked out. It was still sticky enough that it stuck without any, any trouble. I did wait here just a half beat for those little drops to fully dry so they wouldn't get smeared when I pressed down. And I got a few music notes to kind of put with this paint palette to have a whole little, you know, arts nail. I've got the globe for history and then a little um, music notes and paint palette on this little pinky. And then I just did one stamp, but I was able to kind of maneuver my stamper so I could get music notes above and below the paint palette. And now I'm gonna go in, like I said, I checked to see that they were dry and I'm gonna line them up. And as I press on here, I can wiggle just slightly to kind of get them all in the right place. I really like how that turned out. It's one of my favorite nails in this set is that little paint palette. And now I'm going to go and get these little airplanes. I did have to do this um, stamp twice when I went to pick them up the first time. I had a whole bunch that were only half of a stamp, so I washed it off. I edited that out of the video because, you know, you don't want to watch me making mistakes. But I will tell you out of transparency, I did have to do that one twice. And then I'm going to go in with black for the outlines. And I really like how these airplanes look. I'm gonna have to use these for other things also. So the little paper airplanes are, I think you can use them outside of just the education or school days. So here is the final look. I am gonna go and add a matte top coat to all of these except for the thumb. I really like how these turned out. So congratulations to anyone else who is graduating this year. This has been by Devin. I hope you'll like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye, y'all.